to Stuff Lab, I'm Gwen. And I'm Marty. And today we are testing five different buffalo wing sauces to see which one is the best at home buffalo sauce. All right, Marty, why don't you uh, take us through the first one? I'm super excited. So uh, we have wings today. We'll be trying Frank's Red Hot first. The wings, if anyone wants to know, they are the unflavored base standard Domino's wings, which they actually hooked us up with the wings. So thanks, Domino's. Thanks. Ready? Yeah. All right. Do you want to? Are you a flat or a th leg person? I am. Or drummy. Flat or drummy? Both, as long oh, okay. as they're <coughs> bone in wings. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, uh, I'm definitely a drummy person. All right. Well, have at it. Right. I think I'm going to go flats. <coughs> it's buffalo. Yeah? Yeah. It's got a nice vinegar bite mm -hmm. and a nice afterheat. It's good. I like that one. So we're going to do this on a agreement scale with best over here, worst over here. I didn't bring napkins because I figured it'd be pointless right now. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be honest, I've never actually had the wing sauce from Frank's. Oh, really? Never had the wing sauce. Oh. If anybody knows me, I love Frank's, so. In the middle, yeah. In the middle. Next up, essential everyday, buffalo wing sauce. So this is like the economy brand, yeah, the, the store the brand. Store brand. So this one's a little bit lighter colored. I think this one smells more aggressive than the Frank's does. <coughs> no? no? Okay. <laughs> no, no. It's more liquidy. That's not as good. That's not as good at all. No, it's, like, it's just, like, I just taste vinegar. Yeah, it's just straight up vinegar. There's no like cayenne spice or chili spice or anything. It's just straight up orange vinegar. <laughs> That's a shame. That's really Not shame. good. I haven't eaten yet today, so. Ah. I'll be finishing all mine. Oh, God. It's not good at all. No. I'm gonna wipe it on my shorts because okay. I'm wearing my lawn mowing shorts. You do whatever you want. <laughs> so, uh, we're at that point right now. Okay. Number three. What do we got? Sweet Baby Ray's. I have never had this. Um, I've I... actually never seen this before the last time really? I went grocery shopping. <laughs> so, I've, I've had this before a long time ago. It is thicker than Frank's. But it's still the light color of the essential every day. All right, all right. It's much milder. It's milder than Frank. I don't know if you smelled the Franks. Like, all I can smell is whatever scented thing you have on your hands. Look at Swallow's Tito. Oh, okay. <laughs> Little baby drummy. <laughs> I might have gone too aggressive on the sauce on that one. <laughs> Too sweet. Very sweet. It's like they took. It's like they took the barbecue sauce and then just put vinegar in it instead. It is an extremely sweet sauce. It's not bad. It does not taste bad at all. Mm -mm. It's just not what I think the typical person is looking for in a wing sauce. No, like if I got this, I'd wonder like who spilled the Kool Aid in the wing sauce. It has like a cherry Kool Aid aftertaste to me. Uh, I don't get that, but hmm. it's a. Uh, um, I, I like the flavor. I like it better than this. Yep, I like the flavor. For it sure. It is just too sweet of a wing sauce for me. Yeah, that's really unfortunate. This is original Anchor Bar. Um, now, they claim they're the original Buffalo Wing place? I don't know. Uh, perfected by Frank and Teresa's famous Anchor Bar in Buffalo, New York. We'll see. We'll see. It kind of looks <clears throat> like an orange version of like French dressing. Like that kind of consistency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I don't want to double dip, so I'll just finish that oh, one later. Yeah. Definitely has a different smell yeah. than the rest of the things. No real discernible taste. No. I can tell it's spicy, but it doesn't say I'm a buffalo wing sauce. No. Like, I know that you pick on me for having like bad smeller and a bad taster. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't, there's nothing buffalo y about this. No, there's not. Again, it's more on that sweet side. No. Here's the problem though. This is what I, this is the problem I run into. So these are gonna say that they're the original buffalo wing sauce. I don't like it. <laughs> no, it's not good. Um, I mean, it's good, but it, it's very lacking. Like, maybe we're just accustomed to what buffalo wing sauce has become, trying to be hot. No, here's the thing though. This is the medium recipe, but it, it is the original. Maybe we're just used to wing sauces nowadays, like trying to yeah, that are, really kick that it are. up. Yeah, I would probably put it in like third place right now. Because it, also... it at least has a flavor. I would also put it in third okay. place. It's not overly sweet and it's not just terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, next up, 
So this is our last one. Mm -hmm. I've never been to Hooters before. I have been a few times. I have not, <laughs> so I have no idea what this is like. So we have Hooters wing sauce. This is the hot one. Yes. I don't know, most people like go to Hooters for wings. I, I love their spicy chicken sandwiches, I think they're super good. This one is by far the thickest of the sauces, like it. That's a yogurt consistency. Yeah. I don't know. I first, can't really pinpoint a smell. First initial thoughts on the smell of this mm -hmm. is like, there's blue cheese funk. I get that. All right. All right. I think there's definitely a blue cheese funk in there. Yeah. Hmm. Ah. Oh no, I'm being gross. Hold on. I don't know. They did. There's something going on where it tastes like there's blue cheese already mixed into it. Yeah. That's I'm not, really good. I'm not hating it. I'm not hating it at all. I'm also not super loving it. Because again, it's not what I think of when I think of mm. like a wing. And so it also says there's the hot. This is mild compared to these two. Well, this one's the hot. Mm -hmm. Well, so is this one. Oh, I see, I see. I'm underwhelmed. I'm underwhelmed by that one. That being said, I've never eaten there before, so I don't know if it's one of those like... I'll take you sometime. Okay. <laughs> One of those things where people, you know, talk it up so much like, oh, it's so great to have these really good things and blah, blah, blah. You know, like some people do with the restaurants that they really enjoy. Yeah. That it's just kind of like... Well, I'll be honest. Trying. There's only two good things about Hooters. You know what I mean. <laughs> okay. Anyways, it's definitely going to go above this. Yeah, that wasn't good. I will let you decide mm. if it's before or after this one. Because again, I was underwhelmed with this one, and I think this one's like hyper sweet. I put that in fourth place. Are you happy with this this arrangement? Yeah. All right. I'm also happy with this arrangement. I still feel like there's a large gap between this, this is and phenomenal. Everything else. Yeah. Uh, do not recommend. Mm -mm. So there we have it. Best, worst, <laughs> and somewhere in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next time. Bye. Bye.